Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Justine. I make weight loss content and content of my life. So please stick around, subscribe. That would be wonderful. I would love to have you around. And if you are just coming back, hey, what's up? Hello. <laughs> so um, I figured today I would do a what I eat in a day video. I literally just woke up. That's why I look like a freaking crazy animal and my voice is kind of weird. But first things first, we need coffee. And what I've been doing is brewing, I'll show you the coffee. I've been brewing a pot, a big pot of this caramel um, Starbucks coffee. And then once it's cooled down, I've been pouring it in my pitcher thing and making iced coffee in the mornings because I've been really into it, okay? And it's really good and it's cheaper than going out and buying it. So what I like to do is obviously, uh, coffee is like zero calories, so I don't track. Um, I've just been putting as much as I want in here. I think today I've planned to have two cups of this because it's a very busy day and uh, I'm tired. So um, yeah, I put that much coffee in there. I don't even know if y'all can even see. Yeah, whatever, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, and then I have reduced sugar almond milk. Although next time I think I'm gonna try the Califia, excuse Jet, he's over here being weird. Um, I'm gonna try the Califia Farms milk, but for now, this is what I have. Um, and I, it's icy, my fridge is cold, but I don't even use a full serving. I use 100 milliliters, which is about 25 calories, I think. And then I've planned to use another 100 after I finish this coffee. So 200 milliliters is what I'm gonna use my coffee. And even that is still under 60 calories because 240 milliliters is for 60 calories, yeah. And then I like to add two pumps of my Jordan Skinny Syrup. If you do not try this in your coffee, what are you doing with your life, girl or guy or whoever? This stuff is freaking gold. It is zero everything. The only thing it does have in it is some sodium, which is 75 milliliters for 30, I mean, milliliters, 75 milligrams for 30 milliliters. And um, I don't really care too much. I try to like not eat crazy amounts of sodium, but I'm not super like hard on myself it's whatever every food has sodium so it's like whatever but um i like to use two pumps of this so like one two and um it is it does make it sweet but because i put so much coffee in there it does it's not like overwhelmingly sweet because i don't like my coffees to be overwhelmingly sweet but this stuff is seriously gold i order mine off of amazon because i can never well, okay, I live like 30 minutes from the closest stores that sell them and I'm just not about that life. And when I did try to go and buy it the other day, um, they had one flavor and it wasn't even a coffee flavor. It was like raspberry and I don't like raspberries. So yeah, they make like margarita ones, like for skinny people, like not skinny people. <laughs> what am I saying? Oh my God, it's too early for this. Um, to have like skinny drinks, like skinny margaritas and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's like zero everything. They even make keto ones. This is the caramel pecan flavor, which I highly recommend. As you can tell, I really like it. And I just ordered um, two more off Amazon. I ordered um, vanilla caramel cream and maple bourbon. I'm super excited to try those out. They sound super good. Who is honking? I don't know you. Um, but they do sell them at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, and Ross, I believe. And then they do sell them at Bed Bath & Beyond, but Bed Bath & Beyond is like way more expensive. These are usually like four to five dollars for this entire bottle at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, Ross. Um, but yeah, I highly, highly recommend that to put in your coffee if you are trying to make any kind of flavored coffee at home. It's just, it's zero calories. What more could you ask for? So I don't track that. So I usually start off my mornings by making my coffee, um, filling up my water. I say this, oops, I say this in every freaking what I eat in a day video, drink your water. It's good for your skin. My skin looks so much better than it has been recently and just for your overall health. And I drink a gallon of water a day. Even if I'm like struggling, I will finish that gallon by the end of the night. Um, so yeah, I fill that up. And then I'm gonna kind of hang out on the couch for a little bit until I fully wake up, let my coffee do its thing. And then we're gonna have breakfast. And what I've been doing for breakfast is I've been, um, I don't wanna say meal prepping, but basically just, I guess it is prepping because it's prepping me for the morning, uh, whatever. What I do is I weigh out my egg whites and then I already know what I'm having. I'm having today, I'm having my oatmeal, same thing I usually eat. I tried to switch it up and have a breakfast burrito, but that just did not keep me that full that long. So I like to have oatmeal. You know what? I don't even know why I'm telling you. I'll show you. This is what I eat in a day anyway, right? So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and hang out. Do I have anything else to say? Cause I know I can talk a lot. 
I don't really have anything else to say. I guess I'll just give you a rundown of what today's food is gonna consist of because I do pre-plan in my fitness pal. If you don't know, I calorie count um, slash watch my macros, try to hit them perfectly um, to lose my weight. I know I probably will start getting new subscribers and that are curious about how I lost 80 pounds. Um, I will be doing weigh-in videos. I will be posting one probably before this video, you would have seen it. And um, yeah, I calorie count. Calorie counting is the only way, well, no, let me rephrase that. No, not calorie counting. A calorie deficit is the only way you will lose weight. There is no magic pill, magic shake, like anything that will make you lose weight because those shakes and pills, like, I don't know about pills, but like the shakes, all those do is replace a meal, which in turn creates a calorie deficit, which is why you are losing weight. It is not the shake. You could literally be eating a cookie. I don't recommend that because it's not healthy and nutritious for your body, but you could literally eat a couple cookies. And as long as you're in a calorie deficit for your body, because not everyone has the same calorie deficit, you will lose weight. And I can even make that freaking proof of that because my mother-in-law lived on Reese's cups and cereal, not because we made her, because she that's what she enjoys, and lost weight when she was visiting me. So I'm telling you, you will lose weight as long as you are in a deficit. So yeah, enough of me babbling. This has been a six minute clip. I know, I could talk a lot, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and I'll see y'all back here for breakfast. I annoy myself. I told y'all I would give you guys a rundown and I completely forgot. So I got on a whole rant about calorie deficit, but that's because <laughs> I know I'm too old, but I made a TikTok and I had so many comments asking how I lost my weight, which is why I went on that whole spiel. Ignore that. <sighs> See, this is what happens when you talk too much. You lose your train of thought. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give you a rundown of what today's meals are going to consist of. So um, breakfast, I will have egg whites mixed with spinach, baby tomatoes, onion, bell pepper. And I think that's it for that. And then I have oatmeal on the side of that with, with um, some protein powder mixed in. And then um, I don't know. I can't remember if I put strawberries on there or not you'll obviously be able to see and i will be putting the calories for all the meals on the screen um for lunch i'm not a huge lunch person so i like to just kind of snack so i think it's because usually on days that i work out i have a protein shake after because protein is like the best to take as soon as you're done strength training um so i really don't get like super hungry but i'll have a cheese stick some lightly salted almonds excuse if you heard jet in the background he i gave him ice cube he really likes ice cubes and that's like a treat for him so he's over there just sliding it around on the floor um but yeah so we um are gonna have a light lightly salted almonds a cheese stick baby carrots and a kind bar a mini kind bar i'll show you guys those they're so freaking good and then for dinner, I prepped mini meatloafs. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen what those turned out like. Um, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know if they taste good, but they smelled so freaking good. And Jacob ate a few of them because I had extra ones and he said they were really good. So I'm, I will be having that on top of some egg noodles that I already pre-weighed out yesterday because of convenience. Now all I have to do is cook it um, with some cut up zucchini in it. And I think that's dinner. And then for dessert, because a day cannot go by where your girl does not have dessert, I will have a light and fit yogurt with a fiber one bar. And I prepped these Kodiak cake pancake bites with Lily's chocolates and a few caramel bits in it that are roughly about 43 to 50 calories per muffin because I didn't make them very big. And yeah, that's gonna be my whole day. I think it, it all came out to like 1,500 and something. Um, for me, I am 5'6", 204.6 pounds like that is a really good deficit for me but i what um words are hard but what my fitness pal recommends for me to eat um to lose one and a half pounds because i think that's reasonable a week is a thousand six hundred and twenty but i rarely ever hit that because once i get into like the thousand five hundreds i'm already so full and i don't like to force feed myself because then i end up just feeling like really big in the mornings um but I do make sure that I'm hitting my macros and my macros are pretty, pre pretty much perfect today. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna stop blobbering. I just had to say that because I, I realized after I filmed that, the first clip that I forgot even show, or not show y'all, tell y'all what I was gonna eat today. So I'm gonna just shut up, go sit on the couch and I'll see y'all when I make breakfast. 
Alrighty y'all, so it's about 8.50 and I'm gonna have an early breakfast just because I have to be ready by three, which means I have to work out and I don't like to work out. Um, we'll have to work out now. Usually I would push my workout until like 11 or something, but I'm gonna go ahead. My hair is frustrating me. Okay, so this is off topic, but if you use the Revlon dry brush, I love that thing. It is a godsend because I have naturally curly hair and it just is so much faster to do it with the, the, not the wand, the Revlon brush. But I've noticed recently, and after talking to my sister and then I saw a YouTuber talk about it, it's been breaking my hair. And like I've always had little frizzies or flyaways, but like it's been making it so much worse. I look like a freaking peacock. So just ignore that. I stopped using it um, just for a little bit to confirm that that's what the problem is. Um, but yeah, it's just really frustrating. So anyway, so usually I don't work out until um, like 11 or so or like 10.30 ish. And I won't usually have breakfast until like 10 because I'm not usually hungry until then. But because I have a lot of stuff to do today, I'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast, work out, take a shower and just get my day just, like moving. Um, so what I'm gonna have for breakfast is yesterday I went ahead and um, measured out 150 grams of egg whites. And then I'm going to have on the side um, a pack of the cinnamon roll, 100 calorie better oats, just one pack of it. And then after I microwave those, I add some of my, let me show you, some of my protein powder. Y'all already know how much I love this protein powder so freaking much. This is the best flavor. I did try a different flavor. I actually ordered Snickerdoodle and Snickerdoodle tastes like cinnamon toast crunch, like cereal milk. And I thought it was really good at first. It's probably gonna be it taste better if you bake it like into desserts. But honestly, the second time I tried it, the first time I was like, oh yeah, this is good. The second time I was like, oh no. It is like overwhelmingly sweet and like not good. Jacob doesn't like it either. And I feel bad because I ordered this flavor for him because he was like, okay, if you wanna try it, let's try it. Yeah, I feel bad making him drink it, <laughs> but we don't waste money in this house, okay, honey? Um, but yeah, I don't like it. I don't really recommend this unless you're gonna just purely, purely use it to make like protein desserts. But cake pop, however, is going to always be my favorite and I'm so obsessed with it. So after I um, microwave my oatmeal, I always add some protein powder into it to one, keep me fuller longer. And I always, always, always make sure that I hit my protein goal every single day. That is like a non-negotiable for me. So I have eight grams of protein powder weighed out and I will mix that into my oatmeal. Um, after it's done cooking and then um, okay this is my own personal choice you obviously if you want to track these feel free to do so I don't feel like these vegetables make that much of a difference um, and for my own sanity because of how long my journey is to lose my weight I don't really like to track this I don't care that much about that um, but let me show you all so I am going to add some red onion that I already cut up myself, like prepped into my eggs, along with already cut up bell pepper that I already prepped. And then I have spinach and this would be weird, but this is a freaking amazing hack. Getting a bag of spinach, putting it in a Tupperware glass or plastic with paper towels makes it last so much longer. I bought this like a week ago and look at it, it still looks freaking great. So I recommend trying that trick out if you, ha if you have never done it before. And then I cut up a few of these little salad tomatoes and um, throw them in with my eggs also. And I think that's gonna be my breakfast. Um, I do wanna say though that you could totally track those vegetables if you wanted to. Because I'm having to cut it up myself and if you buy like a bag of three colored bell peppers or an onion, they don't have nutritional labels. And I know I can find the nutrition for it on my fitness pal, but I really just don't think that that is that necessary. But if I like for lunch, I have baby carrots, I will weigh those out. If I have strawberries, zucchini, I will weigh those out. But for I think my own sanity and just personal reasons, I just don't really care to like track those. So I don't track those. Um, I just, for me, I don't feel like it's that important. Honestly, I feel like my body uses more energy to digest those vegetables than they even have in the amount that I use. So it ends up kind of like zeroing everything out and like being zero calories but don't take my word for it if you want to track it you do what works for you this is just what works for me so i'm gonna go ahead and prepare everything i'll show you all once it's finished and i will have the calories on the screen for the finished meal when i show it to you guys and that will include the um 
iced coffees that I drank. I also finished my first iced coffee, so I will be making another one of those with another 100 milliliters of um, almond milk. So I will have the calories um, for the coffee included in the calories for my breakfast total. So let me make this and then I'll show you all what it looks like when I'm finished making it. So this is my breakfast. So I went ahead and put sriracha on top of it, on top of my eggs because sriracha, you already know, that is my jam and I love it on eggs, it's so good. I have my iced coffee right there. I have my water of course, and then I have my 100 calorie oatmeal mixed with protein powder. And if you don't already do this, eating your oatmeal with a baby spoon or even um, yogurt with a baby spoon is so freaking like good because it makes it last so much longer since you're taking smaller bites. I, I know it's weird. I don't even have kids and I went and bought baby spoons, but I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my breakfast. But right here on the screen, I'll have the calories for this entire meal, including both iced coffees that I drank for the milk. So yeah, I'll have that right there. And um, I'm gonna enjoy this and then get ready to start my day. Well, not get ready, I gotta work out. And then I'm gonna get ready to start my day. But I will show you guys, again, I've showed you a million times, but I will show you guys the pre-workout that I take. And then I will show you guys my protein well, yeah, I already showed you guys a protein, but I have more of that protein after I work out. So I'll just go ahead and show you guys again for the purpose of this being a what I eat in a day. And yeah, so as you guys can tell, my breakfast is not super high calorie, but it's because I don't really like, like to eat breakfast just because I'm not super hungry in the mornings. Um, I like to have bigger dinners. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to enjoy this. I'll see you all in a little bit once I let my food digest and get ready to work out. Well guys, it has now been a couple hours. Yeah, I got distracted on TikTok. Don't mind my hair. Um, <laughs> I did not think I would like TikTok. I really genuinely didn't. And now people's videos are so entertaining. I got sucked in. Well, I gotta work out now. So that's what I'm going to do. My freaking dog is so freaking cute. I have to show y'all him real quick. Like, um, hello, you are so freaking adorable. I love you with my whole heart. Okay, so before I work out, I obviously say this in the, like all my videos. This is like probably included in all of my what I eat in a day videos is my pre-workout. I'm almost out. I need to buy more. This is by far the best flavored Alani new pre-workout I've ever had. And this is a Aloha pineapple. I've said that like a gajillion times. Yeah, y'all can see that I really, really enjoy it. That's just a little packet that they put in here so it doesn't get all clumpy. But yeah, like, um, yeah, you're almost out, so I need to order more. <laughs> but yeah, I just, how many times am I going to say yeah in a sentence? I'm pretty sure that was like 20 times. Any hooser, I got that from Grace. Um, I'm going to do like one scoop in here. Mix it with like eight ounces of water. And then I'm going to go get my like workout done. I need to hurry up and get it done. Then I'm going to shower. I am going to film a video and a TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, it is just my name. And then I'm going to have lunch. So let's get, get her done, shall we? I will be back to show you guys how much protein I drink after I work out. Um, kind of self-explanatory. You just take the serving size. But... I'll explain to you in a little bit that the serving size of this protein is kind of weird. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna work out now. I'll see y'all in a sec. All right, y'all, so I just got done working out. I'm kind of a germaphobe, so what I like to do is get a Clorox wipe and wipe down my beets. It's my own germs and sweat. You can see how sweaty I am for my glasses. Also, please don't come for me about wearing a navy hoodie. This is my husband's and I don't work out outside of my house and I would not wear it outside of my house, but I found it in the garage and I figured I'd throw it on to sweat more and I'm still sweating. You guys could see my glasses always get foggy. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and drink my protein. Leave my shoes alone, bubs. Um, I'm out of breath, I'm sorry. But I'm going to drink my protein. I had a really freaking good leg workout. Um, I've been using the FitBot app because I finished Mari's first home guide twice and her second home guide once. And then I heard Chipotle on Instagram. I'll put her Instagram handle right here. But she does Weight Watchers. I don't do Weight Watchers, but she recommended this workout app called FitBod. And it's a subscription either month to month or yearly. And she has a discount code. I need some water, give me a second. Okay, so she has a discount code. 
and I ended up paying $50 for a year. And it's a really freaking cool app. Um, I just really like it because it works out. Okay, you can either do upper and lower body splits or upper, lower push and pull or full body workouts. And um, because I work out at home most of the time, I can pick all the equipment that I have in my garage and they'll only recommend exercises that use the, equip the equipment that I have. Um, and if I can't do a exercise that they like say I should do, or um, if I just don't want to do it, um, I can replace it with a uh, exercise that will still work the same muscles, but will be easier for me to do. Like, for example, if I can't do, I can do it, but this is just an example. If I can't do um, dumbbell, like holding dumbbells on my shoulders squats, then I could put the dumbbells down and they'll say air squats or jump squats because it'll still work the same muscles. It'll just be a little easier. And so I really, really like it. I highly, highly recommend it. As you can see, I'm a sweaty mess. I burned like 500 active calories right now, which is a lot for a workout because obviously the Apple Watch, Fitbit, boys relax. Sorry, they're going crazy chasing each other. The Apple Watch and the Fitbits are not 100% accurate with the calories that you burn. Give me a second. Okay, sorry. One of them got all rowdy and threw up, so I had to clean it up. But what I was saying was, um, I highly, highly recommend that app and the trackers, they're just like to give you an estimate of how many calories and stuff you burn. They're not going to be 100% accurate. And also on my fitness pal, when you work out, unless you pay for premium, I do, but if you don't, it'll give you calories to, to like eat back or whatever. Don't eat those calories back because then you won't lose weight. Um, cause it's not accurate. And so, yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and drink my protein. Um, the weird thing about this protein is that the calories, because I measure everything by grams because it's just more accurate. This is weird. The grams for a serving is 31 and a half. Why? I don't know. So what I like to do is just put my, my cup on the scale and I only do 30 grams. So even though 31 and a half is 120 calories, I'm pretty sure for 30 grams, it ends up being like 114 or something. So like, let me see. Okay, so that was 23 grams, 27, okay, that's 30. So I ended up having 30 grams of my protein. So I guess it's not a full 24 grams of protein or whatever, but I don't mind. I'll put the calories for my shake on the screen. But what I like to do is just add about like 10 uh, milliliters of, well, ounces, I mean, 10 ounces of water and add a couple ice cubes and shake it up and drink it because it just tastes good that way. And then I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready for the day and then we'll have lunch. So I'll see y'all after I look presentable. Okay hey guys, it is now lunchtime and I look so much better than I did before. So what I'm having for lunch is like kind of snack plate. I don't know if you guys can tell, I don't wanna drop anything. But basically I'm having two cuties. I'm going to have, I wrote all this down just to be accurate. Um, 88 grams of these Bolt House Sweet Petite Carrots. These are the best, the best baby carrots you'll ever eat. I don't know why, I don't know what it is about it, but I got these at Walmart. Just, I'll show the bag so y'all can pick some up if you want to. But I'm telling you right now, hands down, best baby carrots I've ever eaten. And then I have 45 grams of this Members Mark, this is from Sam's Club, oven roasted turkey breast. And then I have, 28 grams of the lightly salted almonds. And then I have a cheese stick and I got these at Sam's Club, but you can pick these up at Walmart too. They're 45 calories per stick. Um, they are light string cheese from Sargento. Yeah. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around so you guys can see what this looks like. Of course, I'm gonna have my water on the side and um, then I'll put it on the screen once I show you guys how many calories this entire little snack plate is. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, nothing special guys. And I'll go ahead and have the calories for it on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch and then I'm going to um, clean up my house a little bit, film a video, and then we're gonna head out to go run some errands and then I'll be back for dinner, I guess. And dessert. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. I ordered, okay, so I have wreaths on my door. I had a Christmas one and then I bought a Valentine's Day one, but then I decided I really don't want to do it for every single holiday. So what I did was for year round, other than Christmas, and I guess now Valentine's Day, I bought a Mayhall 
um, my last name, wreath. It does, I got it un unfinished or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna have to spray it with like protectant so the weather doesn't um, mess it up. But let me go ahead and show y'all what it looks like because it's so freaking cute. I got it off Etsy and I will share her little Etsy store in my description bar because it was on sale and I believe I got this 23 inch one for $53 or, or something like that. Nothing crazy. I think that's reasonable considering it's customized. So let me go ahead and show y'all because I freaking love it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. How freaking cute is that? It has a big M and then it has her last name in the, in the uh, middle of it. And yeah, it's just wood, but how freaking cute. So I for sure I'm gonna have to put like sealant on it to just keep it protected, but I'm so excited to put that on my door. I just think it's so freaking cute. So, okay, that's all I have to say. I'm gonna stop talking and eat. See y'all in a little bit for dinner. Alrighty y'all, so it is dinner time. Your girl is hungry and ready to eat. So I'm having these mini meatloafs. I'm not eating all of these, but I made mini meatloafs yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw, I promise that's cheese. <laughs> but yeah, I made them. They're basically like meatballs, I guess, but they were um, presented on Google as mini meatloafs. So that's what I'm gonna call them. Um, I'm having those with egg noodles that I weighed out. So I'm having 151 grams of those meatloafs. I already weighed three of them out and Jacob's gonna have the other three. And then I weighed out 68 grams of egg noodles last night to make it more convenient on myself so I don't have to weigh that out. Jacob will be having normal spaghetti with it. And then I prepped some zucchini yesterday. You can see I cut it up. And I'm going to have, what do I put? 90 grams of the zucchini. Zucchini. I'm gonna cook it up in a pan and kind of um, like saute them or whatever. And then throw that into the bowl with the noodles and the meatloaves. And then I'm gonna add some shredded mozzarella cheese but I'm going to have 20 grams, which I already weighed out right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cook the noodles, kind of assemble everything. And then um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. And I'll tell you guys the calories for it then. So let me get to cooking. See y'all in a sec. Alrighty, y'all. So this is my dinner. You can see I just added the mozzarella cheese on top. And then some of the zucchini is right there. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm excited to eat it. And then I always have a diet soda with my dinner just because I always drink water and I like to have a soda with dinner every night. So right now I'll have on the screen the calories for this entire bowl, which is a good size bowl. So I'll have the calories on the screen for this meal. So after I'm done eating, um, once probably like in 30 minutes or to an hour, when I let the food kind of settle for a second, I'm going to have dessert and I'll show y'all what that looks like, but I'm hungry. So let me eat this. Okay guys, so it is now dessert time. So what I like to do is take a vanilla Greek yogurt. I love these so much. And then I take a fiber one bar, um, weigh these out because they say they're supposed to be 25 grams and 70 calories. Yeah, they're usually a little more than that. So to be accurate, you would wanna weigh, weigh them out. It's not by much, but little calories do add up. Um, and I like to put this in the microwave for 15 seconds and then squish it in here. It looks gross. Go check out my Instagram on my food tab. It, I showed it, it looks ugly, but it is so freaking good. And then I made these little um, Kodiak cake pancake muffins with Lily's chocolates and um, a few caramel bits in it. And these are, I weighed them out yesterday. They are 42 grams and 91 calories for both of these. So yeah, that's what they look like. They're so freaking good. So let me assemble everything and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it ends up looking like. Yeah, I just squished it all in there after I warmed it up. It's so good, I promise. I know it looks gross, but it's really good. Then I have my muffins. Finishing up drinking some water. I already drank my gallon, but I am uh, filled it up again just to drink some more water because I'm still thirsty. And then of course I eat, I eat it with baby spoon because <laughs> little bites makes it last longer. So that's gonna be it for today's eating. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think I finished off somewhere around 1,550 or something like that. I'll have on the screen my total calories consumed for the day. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I like to keep everything simple, so like super easy and delicious because this should not be miserable. You losing weight should not mean that you have to eat bland food. You don't. So enjoy yourself, enjoy the journey, find recipes that work for your lifestyle and um, yeah, until next time, guys. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.